So this is a quick little assembly video for this uh, Asus RS500A 1U server. I've already uh, inserted the hard drive. Uh, so that's ready to go. Uh, what I have left to do is the RAM and the CPU. So uh, off camera, there are two screws in the front that you have to remove in order to uh, uh, remove the top case. I'm just going to leave them out. Uh, there's some screw show this. thumb screws in the back. So these front screws are completely extraneous unless you need them for security or something. Um, in all seriousness, I would just leave them off. Uh, so this is the inside. According to the manual, uh, this is memory bank 1 and this is CPU 1. Uh, to access it, you just remove the air guide. I'm only inserting two 16-meg 16, uh, 16 cards for now. Uh, this will support up to 256 megs of RAM. Uh, if you read the instructions for memory, uh, memory placement, uh, it recommends putting the memory in the first and fifth slot. So aligned correctly and some gentle pressure. And then again with the fifth slot. Now off camera you can't see I am wearing a anti-static strap so that uh, none of these components are damaged during installation. Uh, risk is fairly low, but at the same time, you don't want to risk it. So, this is a uh, AMD Optron 12-core uh, processor. Uh, this will support two 8- uh, or 12-core uh, processors, so up to 24 cores in total. But you can operate it with just one CPU if you don't want to shell out the upfront expense. Um, packaging is pretty simple. Pretty easy to get to the CPU. Now I'm not going to pull this out until I'm ready. I'll just set, set this aside. Over here there is a plastic case. It is a dust cover to make sure that you don't get dust in any of these little pins. Um, the instructions are very clear on it. Uh, to put the, uh, the socket pins, remove the cap only when installing the CPU. Put the cap back on if you remove the CPU. Um, obviously, CPU pins are fairly small. You don't want to damage them. I don't know if this is required to come up. This is the first time I've inserted an Octron processor. All right. So, there we have it. Uh, the bottom of it is essentially flat. Um, one, mar one side is marked. There we go. frustrating. Ah, there we go. There's the arrow. Okay, there's an arrow on this side. So I'm going to align the arrows appropriately. I'm very careful, even though I have the anti-strap on, anti-static strap, I want to make sure that I don't touch any of the pins at the bottom. My finger oil may be enough to corrode it in the long term. This is a very CPUs are very delicate. You want to treat them really nice. Okay, that popped in pretty easily. Uh, no force was needed, and there's a alignment pin, so it would be impossible to do otherwise. All right. So I think this goes down at this point. Now, the 
final step. Included with the server are two very, very large uh, CPU power heat sinks. These are some of the largest heat sinks I've ever held in my hand. Uh, feels like it's mostly copper. Um, I see they have screws on here, so I am going to assume that this has to be depressed first. I'm going to go do that now. Okay. That pressed down with uh, just a little bit of pressure. I don't see, oh, maybe this for alignment. I don't think it probably matters. It looks symmetrical, but put this down on top. And notice that it would be impossible to put this down uh, while the lever is up. And grab the screwdriver. Oh, make sure I don't snap that anti static cable. It is on. It's taking a little more force to turn it than I would expect. A lot more force. The screw is going in though, and everything's aligned. Instructions did not say anything about this. Oh, there we go. Alright, so it's a little rough at first to uh, screw, and you have to apply some downwards pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Um, I'm assuming this is spring-loaded, and that's why it's so tough. Double check that this is, yeah, that's going in. It's just really tough. Okay. Oh, much easier, again. It's only tough when you first get started. Okay, um, that's on there. That's on there, and that's firm. Um, I wouldn't want to over-tighten this. There is a thermal conduction gel or glue on the bottom of this that is pressing against that CPU. Um, obviously, the CPU is going to have some thermal protection, so if I installed it incorrectly, it should let me know within seconds. Put the, the cap of the, the heat sink and keep that AMD Optron sticker for the front because, well, hey, if you're going to pay a few hundred dollars for it, you might as well get your few cents of sticker. AMD likes to market themselves. But so is Intel. Okay. Here we go. Back on. And we are together. Fantastic. So uh, the drive is uh, is blanked, well, brand new. Um, so I have just burned myself a uh, Ubuntu minimal install DVD CD. Clearly, this is a CDR. Um, it's only 200 megs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install that as a base OS. Uh, that is great for virtualization. And since I can compile it with all the Optron optimizations, I should be able to get the maximum performance. Even if just squeaking out that extra 2-3%, it's going to be worth it. I mean, if you're paying a few hundred dollars for the 12-core processor, you might as well get used to it. Okay, uh, that's it. I may do another video on the Gen 2 install process, but uh, this puppy is ready to go.